Hi everyone. So today what I'm going to be talking about is change management. So change management in the current study design is one of the biggest areas. In the old study design they only had one area of study dedicated to it, now they've got two. And a really big part of that is the idea of a contemporary case study that VCAR asks you to know and be able to discuss change management theory in relation to. What they mean by this is you need to have an example of a real world business that has undergone a change and you need to be able to discuss all of the change management theory that you learn in relation to that contemporary case study. It's important to note at this point that by contemporary, VCAR does mean within the last four years. So make sure that the case study that you're learning and the business that you're looking at comes within that time frame. So a good example, if you are really struggling, is to Google the Woolworths change of removing plastic bags from a lot of their grocery stores. And you should be able to find quite a bit of information on that one. But your teacher or your textbook should have plenty of examples. How I recommend you study for this is by creating a table just in a Word document or handwritten with all of the theory down the left hand side. So we're talking about driving forces for change, restraining forces for change, things like that. And then your links to the contemporary case study on the right hand side. So information about the real world examples that is using that theory that you learn. And this is because VCAR can give you a question on the end of year exam that asks you to link any aspect of the change management theory to a contemporary case study. So it's important that you can do it for all of the change theory that you learn. Thanks guys.